Hey, what up folks? Jesse here with Southern Reels Fishing, and today I am hunting for some giant red fish. Now, you know, people are touchy about these red fish as far as locations and stuff. In this video, honestly, I'm going to do the best to conceal where we're at just to keep all the haters from hating. So, and if you do recognize where I'm at by chance, just keep it to yourself, please. That way I ain't getting all the hate mail. But anyway, we're out here fishing and we're kind of covering a big flat expanse here because they're pretty much running all up and down these banks, you know, looking for food as they're headed out. I'm using live blue crab for bait, basically cutting it up, either running it in quarters or halves, depending on what the current's doing. Two different rigs I'll be using. I'm gonna be using the bottom sweepers, uh, probably in the heaviest they offer right now, which is one ounce. Even though I did talk to the owner of the company, they did say that they have two and three ounce models coming out here in a couple weeks, which is cool. I'm also running a Carolina rig with a pretty big, like six alt circle hook on it. I'll be using that when the current picks up after slack tide. And with that being said, I'm pretty much fishing slack tide is the best time to get these. Pretty much just dropping it to the bottom, letting it sit with slack line. Don't want the line tight. That way if something picks it up, they don't feel weight right away because I don't want it to fill it and spit it right back out. Give them a second to swim with it, to eat whatever it is, and don't really jerk it too hard to set the hook. Just kind of start reeling it. And when you feel some weight, just kind of pull on it to set the hook. That's what we're doing today. Cross our fingers, hopefully we'll get some. Thanks. All right, folks, just to show you the bait that I'm using, this is a live blue crab. Best way to deal with these guys is to keep them cold keeps them very lethargic that's where you can get a hold of them pop the big claws off um, I usually take a knife just to show you and go ahead and clip the legs off I usually put it on a wet rag in my kayak just to keep it from scratching up the yak and kind of keep it from sliding around just a little bit safer try to leave the joints intact because that really helps hold the crab on the hook I like to go ahead and shell them the way I do that is to pretty much just hold it right here and just lift the shell Get rid of all that nastiness then i'll take that section and pretty much just cut it right in half and i just hook these portions here right on the hook i'm gonna use this one right now what about a three ounce weight on this guy you want some pretty heavy tackle this 60 pound liter 50 pound braid on a pretty heavy jigging pole here It'll help you get these fish up quickly you don't want to stress these fish too much because you can't keep them this, these are pretty much just trophy fish for bragging rights but i'll take this go into a leg hole hook it right around just like so and just throw it down on the bottom and just let it sit all right folks got something else on here this one feels like a redfish it's got that head shape and it feels big I'll tell you what this beef here pole was nice <laughs> yeah How you like me this week Got something for you, big ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, yeah. That's a decent feeling. Whole blue crab. Carolina rig. Big ass circle hook. You're coming up. Woo, yeah. That's a nice rig. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Yeehaw. Let's get a measurement real quick here. I was a lot quicker landing them than last week. 49 and a half. Not quite as big as last week's. Shit, yeah, I'll take it. Right there, folks. Ah, beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, back in the water with you. Oh, shit. Now, there it goes. Woo! Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, hey folks, all right, that was the first one of the day, 49 and a half, damn good fish. Good fight too. I'll tell you the heavier duty setup that I got made a world of difference. I was able to get them up in under like four minutes, if that even. Whole blue crab is what I was using on this giant rig right here. Got it from Bass Pro for like 120 bucks. Anyway, back to fishing. All right folks, my new friend Yogi over here, he's hooked up with something. I'm gonna kind of trail him and see what he's got. Hey, you want me to take this other pole for you and reel it in? Right, I don't come up beside you and grab it. Yep. It is fish, but it's Velcro. Yeah. 
Try to get this here sorted for him. All right, one less thing he's got to worry about. Looks quality. Oh, I saw that tail. Look at that. You can you can grab his mouth. Just don't get that hook in your hand. Just pull him right across your lap. You grab him. Go for it. Pull it up. Holy shit, that's heavy. Yeah, he's heavy. There you go. Just pull him right on across you. Heck yeah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this. Heck yeah. That's I say at least 50, 48 to 50. Alright, let's get that tape measure, get him back in the water. Here you go, bro. Oh boy, I see that handshake. Tell your nerves up when you pull something like this in. Oh, no, lost him. no, he's alright. Let's grab my tail. Give him a good shake. You ready? Ooh. Come on, buddy. Come on, show me a pump. There you go. Congratulations to my man, Ooh. Yogi, active military. Come out here, got him on a big rig today. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, brother, we appreciate it. Appreciate everything you do for our country. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Heck yeah. All right, folks, I'm having to increase my weight here. Started off with three, went to six, and I'm going to eight, which is actually the biggest that I got with me. Current is just picking up, and I kind of want to keep it stationary, at least from what I've learned. They seem to bite it better that way. Get the sunken crab back on the bottom and see what happens. I got something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's got head shakes. How this pole makes this so much easier. Heck <laughs> yeah. There we go. Got that hem hook good too. <laughs> Measurement, 48 and a half. Damn, I can't get one like I got the other day. <laughs> love it, I love it. All right, back in the water, buddy. Oh. Man, he's off. Oh. Yeah, baby. That's what it's all about. Wait two hours, one fish. Two hours, one fish. I'll wait all day for that. <laughs> well, folks, I tell you, it is, it is some slow paced fishing. I've been here five hours and I've caught two fish and a stingray. But I tell you what, those two fish are worth waiting all day for. I'm having a ball. Currents are ripping right now and we're still catching them. So we're just gonna keep right on fishing until we run out of bait. Screw it, right? <laughs> I got one. Yep, that's another red. I flipped the kayak over. Heck yeah. Come on up. There you are. Big beauty. Hello. Nice to meet you. Got one more burn in you. Hmm. Oh, drilling. Just pumping. <laughs> oh god happy guy right here buddy let me tell you roughly yeah about 44 inches mm -hmm. heck yeah all right back in the water with you just pump it one time and let you go there you go see you buddy ah gosh what an awesome freaking day. Oh my God. Well folks, it's about the end of another awesome day on the water. I uh, had a blast today, caught some of the biggest fish I've ever caught. Had one other good bite this afternoon, had it on and lost them. Just not used to those damn circle hooks. It was a good day. I'm happy, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home and get some rest and get ready for another week. Peace out.